the merchants had been true to their offer. Still, the water closing over her felt like death. Cold and terrifying. I can breathe! This feels so... strange. Wish Lump could have been here. Still, it was her choice. I need to honor that. But there was no time to dwell on her lost friend. Robin had a dragon to find! Which way did it go? Hey guys, welcome back to Lost Words Beyond the Page. In the last episode, we had a very emotional one. And well, without further ado, let's just get going and see what else is going to happen. Alright, another branching tunnel. The walls were closing in. Here, I guess. Far too narrow for winged beasts. Did I guess wrong? A dead end. Oh, I knew it! Wrong tunnel! Mm-hmm. Okay, so we... There must be a way. Think, Robin! Think! So I guess we will have to break... Uh... Here... Oops. How do I get up there? Uh, I guess by rising stuff? Ha! Is this the right way? Uh, it's a little finicky to do this. I'm gonna go to the right side. I just don't know. I wish I could ask Lump. But Lump had made her choice. She believed in Robin. Now Robin had to believe in herself. The submerged tunnels flared outwards, a tangled mess of caverns and hollows. Hmm. I don't know. Turning. If it matters where we go, I uh, don't want to rise, I want to fall down. Here. Bending with almost malicious intent. to get out of here. Amidst a great coral bed, shimmering with color and life. Wow, this is beautiful. Indeed. No, focus. I have to find the dragon, no matter what. Beautiful, and now. Hmm, I guess we will have to break it. Broken. Yeah, I don't want to do that, but I feel like we have to. It grows back, right? Hopefully. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have a dragon to find. No, 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 I missed it. No. Oh, no I mean, matter what? we can't. She spoke those words. Yeah, we can't achieve 100% anyway anymore, so maybe that doesn't matter too much. But knowing that, I miss that. The seed of chilling doubt took root. Wait. Oh, now we can't rise even anymore. Okay, so I was to darkness. Endless. Robbed of sight, the pressure of the deep water on her chest, her thoughts had only one way to go, inwards. What am I doing? I let Lump sacrifice herself for me. And for what? I don't even know where the dragon is. interact with this in any way oh we can't even break things anymore case okay, she is losing so much confidence that we're losing our magic words how it doesn't matter but we can't rise either anymore so I oh, okay find the dragon no matter what Aha, uh -huh, but we can repair it seems. A cold determination gripped her. Numbing all other thoughts. There was just the way forward. Hmm. Barred by an indestructible metal door. Hmm. No. Okay, we lost all our words. I need to. I need to find the dragon. Robin could no longer ignore the seed of doubt. It seeped into her heart, as cold as the water she'd come from. Wow. Barred by an indestructible metal door. Okay, so we just ignored it. The dragon. No matter what. No matter what. The Seekin seemed friendly. Hey, have you seen the dragon? Wait. Hmm, 
friendly sea creatures. A host of them greeted her with curious chatter, warm and welcoming. Have you seen a dragon? Please. No? Okay, so we will have to... Okay, we can't jump over them. So we will have to ignore them. Okay, we can't even ignore them. Okay, we can ignore them. Okay. Freezing cold blanketed Robin. There was comfort in its numbing embrace. She wished she could stay. Okay. She did this. Is this my fault? It was her fault. Her home. I Okay. I destroyed it. I'm not fine with this, guys. I really don't okay. Things take a dark turn here, definitely. A seekin, encased in ice. Guilt dogged her every step. Mm. Did you let me do this? Can't ignore anymore. We don't have any words. It would not rest. Would not leave her. It would not cease. Leave me alone. No remorse. Well, 
I wouldn't agree. I think there is a lot of remorse, but it's just the title of the... Uh... Hi there. It's just the title of the achievement, so... Hmm. Away. Have to move. Need to escape. Please. I didn't know. The creature looked at her, as if it could see into her very soul. Under its stare, her fears crystallized like ice. She knew that she would... Hmm... Uh, where is my there? I don't know, I'm gonna go with disappear here. Disappear? Okay, there are absolutely no words in me uh, on so many levels. Here into nothingness. I can't let that happen. Would Robin embrace her guilt or run from it? You win. I can't run anymore. Do what you will. I just, uh, facing the beast, but I actually decided to do it because I think that's the way to go about it. Hello, journal. Dear journal. Hi, journal. I've... Today, thinking a lot about my dream is to become a writer yeah right a writer who can't even write oops Okay, find something simple to start with. What did I do today? Today I got up. I had breakfast. I tried watching the telly. Oops. I will have to do that all over again because I didn't put the symbol at the right spot. Wouldn't release the right shoulder button. All That's it. I'm going back to bed. Thinking of Bran all the time. Hi, journal. Another day. 
without Gran. Each time I wake up, for the tiniest of moments, it. It. Isn't. Isn't. True. But then it all comes rushing back. It is true. Looking around my room, everything reminds me of Gran. Her puzzle box gift from last year. The magic tank we made during the holiday. Our yogurt pot robot. These paints Gran gave me. Oops. This pen. Even you, journal. She is everywhere. And all of it feels broken. Today is Ben's birthday. Dad baked a cake. He's rather good at it. Mum insisted that I come down and have some. It tasted like nothing. Everything does. Mum said we need to send out invitations to the funeral. How can she think about that? She's ready to shove Gran into a box like a pet goldfish. Just the idea of makes me feel... We'll have to... Do this first. Like, makes her feel sick. Then I stormed off into my room. Oops. Can we... Do this. Okay, that's too far above. Come on, jump there, please. Can't be that hard. I know you're sad, but it will get better. You'll see. Just give it time. I know he wanted to cheer me up, but he's wrong. You don't know half of it. doesn't feel like that now. Time won't make... Time won't make Grand come back. 
The world feels very dark now. Gran has a proverb for times like these. Gran always says... It's always darkest before dawn. It's always darkest before the dawn. No, that's not right. Mm. That's what she would have said. I keep thinking about all the things Gran won't get to see. When I go to university, she won't be there. When I get my first job, she won't be there. If I get married, she won't be there. Even if that's unlikely because... Boys? Boys. I prefer cats. Missing Gran already feels so bad. But how could I want that feeling to go away? How could I be fine with Gran being gone? I'm going to have to feel like this forever. Thanks, Pinky. I can't stop crying. Pinky is probably getting fed up with being used as a tissue. But she never leaves my side. I think that means... Get back to writing your story. She you know, I might as well. She knows how sad I am. Pinky's got a point. I should at least try to write. I can't leave Robin like that. She's as lost. As I am. My head. Where am I? A grey void surrounded her, swallowing sound and hope. Hello? Alright guys, I'm really sorry, but we have hit the end of the episode mark. If you want to know what this void has in stock for us, you'll have to tune in next time for Lost Words Beyond the Page. See you then.